Hey y'all, Eric here with another one. Thanks for joining me for a, another week. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot. Want to get right into it. So we've had a ton of rain over the last couple of weeks with maybe a couple of days uh, that are somewhat dry, uh, but the ground has been very mushy. Uh, but today we do have uh, some sun and I want to get some high nitrogen fertilizer out. We did fertilize uh, a month ago with the Stress Blend, which is a 7% nitrogen blend. Love that stuff by Yard Mastery. Uh, highly recommend uh, in the uh, early, early spring and then also again in the, in the uh, uh, later fall. Uh, but this year, what I'm gonna run for the growing season is Turf Royale by Yara. Uh, I ran this uh, not last year, but the year before and really enjoyed the results. Turf Royale by Yara comes with a, a couple of benefits. Uh, first off, uh, it is a 21-7-14 MPK blend, so it's nice and balanced, not too high on the nitrogen side. Um, also, it is 100% uh, homogenous uh, pellets, so all the little, little uh, pearls uh, in the bag, which I'll show you here soon, all have the same amount, 21-7-14, in every single pearl that's dispersed, so uh, there's gonna be a, a more even application than any other product on the market. Um, other uh, thing that I like about this uh, product is that this 50 pound bag costs $30 at site one. $30 at site one. So if you've been going to the big box stores or you've been buying fertilizer at all, uh, you know, over the last couple of years, fertilizer has shot up in price. You're lucky to get a bag for less than $50. Uh, and uh, at site one, there's at least the one near my house in Charlotte, North Carolina, they're selling this for $30 for a 50 pound bag. Uh, that's a lot of cost savings. Uh, you know, there are people out there struggling right now. That doesn't mean that you can't have a great looking lawn. Um, just find a site one that's carrying Turf Royale. If your site one isn't carrying Turf Royale, call them, ask them to carry it. Um, because uh, this stuff is really, really great. And uh, so I'm going to uh, spread this I'm gonna spread it at about a uh, three pounds of product for every thousand square feet. That's gonna give me about 21 times three is 63. So about 0.63 pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet. I like to keep right at that kind of 0.75 uh, number. I don't wanna put down any more than four pounds of nitrogen on my lawn in any one season. Uh, if I can help it, uh, we can cover all that in a later video as we get towards the end of the season. But uh, don't want to uh, delay it any further because you never know when this rain might come. So let's get to spreading the uh, Turf Royale by Yara. A small clean bucket is always handy. This jerk seasoning is awesome. If you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Obviously bought a lot of it. The uh, pearls, I wanted to show you those. So each of the pearls have the same amount of MPK in each one of them. It's hom totally homogenous. So if you look, they all look exactly the same. They're not different colors. So you're gonna get even disbursement of the product uh, everywhere it lands, which is very nice. I'm gonna weigh this out. I have about 1,300 square feet to do. So I'm gonna do about four pounds. This is 4.85. The bucket was a little over half a pound. I'm gonna put my spreader to three. Always start lower if you have to. And I am going to start with the edges. I'm gonna put the flap down, walk around the edges, and ensure that I'm not getting it on my neighbor's lawn. Try not to get it on the driveway. If you do, you can always just blow it off or kick it back in to your grass. Next, I'm gonna lightly overlap the areas that I have already edged. And once I'm done with that, it is time to grab the hose and start watering. But Eric, you said it's been raining for two weeks. Why are you watering? Well, it might actually rain later tonight. What I'm really trying to do is just knock down any of the pearls that landed on the grass because there was a slight bit of moisture this morning uh, so I don't get any burning on the leaves there. Plus, it'll help uh, move the uh, dissolving uh, forward. Uh, so if it does rain tonight, it will should be about a quarter inch, they say, over, I don't know, an eight-hour period. So it won't be too heavy, which is perfect. 
and it'll water the granules in and won't have to worry about anything. But um, do I want to water at this point? No, it's pretty well watered, but we do want to make sure that we don't burn the grass. So I wanted to take you into the backyard because I applied Yara, the Turf Royale, about a week ago. I've got a couple videos that I'm actually trying to do at one time. Uh, a new herbicide video will be coming out, but just look how green and beautiful the grass is back here. And this area does not get as much full sun as the front area of my lawn. And we are filling in. So um, we do have a couple of a straggler bear, bear spots, but that's to be expected this time of year. I'm guessing in the next week or two will be 100% filled in and looking good. But uh, really happy with the results of the Turf Royale and uh, excited to see how the front looks. I will do a video on that and maybe just make a quick YouTube short on the results there. And when I make that, I'll tag it in the description later on. Well, that's it. Can't say enough great things about Turf Royale by Yara. I am not sponsored by them. I bought both these bags uh, with my own hard-earned money. I bought two bags because uh, South Charlotte is pretty far away from me. And uh, sorry for the noise. And I just want to make sure I have it on hand for the rest of the season. Uh, if you have any questions about Turf Royale or Yara, pl please leave comments below. Any other questions at all, the engagement with the community has been really great this year. And uh, just excited to see it grow and thank you all for watching. So uh, until next time, uh, get out there, have some fun in the lawn, stay dry. Bye now.